took us a while, but we're finally moved in. Won't need these anymore. Can crowns go in the recycling bin? Tell us about the goodwill pile. Out with the old. In California, we're just a regular couple living close to Oprah and far from the paparazzi. Woo. Mm -hmm. But not too far. The best thing is, no more following Granny's rules. Don't wear your pants on your head, Harry. Don't bath on the butler, Harry. If I want to play polo in my living room, who's going to stop me? Stop that. Right away, Megs. All right, I've finished my clippy. Uh, where it says signature, do I put the royal seal? That's not necessary, Mr. Uh, off Wales. I see here that your previous career was in realty. Royalty? But it wasn't a career. My wife's got a Netflix empire. Who doesn't? But I want a real job. Honest work. Roll up my sleeves. Put jammy on my own scones. Please read the sign. Oh, that's a lot to read. Do you have it on audiobook? Tell me about your marketable skills. I can fly an Apache tank-killing helicopter. And have you killed many tanks? None that I was supposed to. Mm. Anything else? I'm good at collecting checks from the government. Do you have that here? Oh, that's called unemployment. To get it, you have to have an actual job first. Right, right. Oh, I could cut ribbons to open hospitals. I've got my own scissors. Don't worry, they're safety. Oh! It's OK. Same thing happened at the children's hospital. Oh, the kids loved it. Hey, it's the husband formerly known as Prince. Any luck getting a job? Oh, they had me driving for Uber Eats. But there were too many damn rules. Don't touch the food. Don't taste the food. Drive on the road. I'm sorry, Rowdy Weddy. But then I was driving down the sidewalk in Hollywood and I saw something amazing. People dress up in costumes like Spider-Man or Jack Sparrow and pose with tourists a dollar a photo. That's perfect. You love people. You're good at getting your photo taken. And I've already got a costume. All right, who's ready for a photo with Hitler? Anybody? How about Hitler and Pikachu? Who wouldn't want a picture with Hitler and Pikachu? Pikachu. <laughs> Well, the costume thing went OK, but not great. Somebody gave me $20. For a single picture? Yeah, to stay out of a single picture. I don't know, Megs. I've tried every career there is. Prince, Hitler. Maybe I'm just not qualified for anything. That's not true. You're a great husband, a good-hearted man. You've got big, muscular teeth. Thanks, Meg. And I guess now I'm qualified for this. Unemployment! Now I'm a regular Yankee geezer. Careful, Harry. I spilled some essential oils on the floor. Whoa! Oh! What's with all the potions, Meg? You're not going scientist on me, are you? If I'm going to succeed in America, I need a lifestyle brand of creams and supplements. Gwyneth Paltrow has goop, Kourtney Kardashian has poosh, and Jamie Lee Curtis has poogurt. Now I've got mine, Meg Goo. Celebrating the sexy Earth Goddess in all of us. Brilliant. You're a genius at sources and ointments. What I need now is a way to launch it. A private, intimate affair that gets blasted out on social media to every human in the world. Like an Emmy or an Oscar bash. Only bigger. A BAFTA party? <laughs> 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 but seriously, it's got to sell the mommy lifestyle. And it's got to be all about me, but not seem like it's all about me. Hmm. If only we had a kid or something. That's it, you magnificent ginger. I'll throw a birthday party for Archie with the hottest celebrities and the handsiest movie producers. But his birthday was months ago. We'll round him down. This is Hollywood. The last thing we want is an old baby. Good news, son. You're turning one again. <laughs> he already hates his dad. That's a Windsor for you. Oh, look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. <gasps> hey, that could be a song. Yes, but not a good one. Can I have your attention, please? I'm so glad you all came to join me in the celebration of the motherhood lifestyle. So help me welcome the guest of honor, my darling baby, Meg Goo Ankle Serum. 
Right. Are your ankles dry and chafed from athleisure pants? No more. Oh. Don't worry, there's some in your gift bags along with rubs, scrubs, and an exfoliating butt chutney. Grab one on the way out. See ya. Wait, we were told birthday party. When do we sing happy birthday song? I demand to see the birthday boy. Huh? I don't see him. Archie! Check the playpen. <laughs> you. Daddy's coming. Looking for your kid? He wandered over to my house, got into my sneaker room. He got pretty hopped up on Nike fumes. I got him some milk and let him climb on the ficus. So, this so-called celebrator of motherhood didn't even know where her own child was. Tegan is so gonna drag you for this. Now everybody fucking sing! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Archie! Megan, this new Netflix show I'm producing for you is gonna be huge. Tell Eldon all about it. It's about a beautiful young swan, but no one treats her like the beautiful swan she is until season two when everyone apologizes to her. So brilliant and inspiring. And we thought you could write the theme oh. song. Mm, ma, ma, I can hear it already. Some C's, some G's, an F. Why not? Make it spicy. <laughs> And luckily, one of our neighbors in Santa Barbara is a pretty famous lyricist. Bernie Taupin. Tiny wanker. The bitch is back. We wrote dozens of hit songs over 30 years till it turned out multi-platinum Bernie Taupin wasn't good enough for The Lion King. Oh, not that again. I'll oh, Hakuna my tata. There's the old chemistry. Anyway, the new show's theme song should be about a tragic princess. I thought it was about a swan. Well, what is a swan if not a floating princess? Oh, you know what? I love it. Which means I hate it. I'm out. Good. <laughs> Who needs you? Go write a song about yellow bricks and crocodile rocks. You just write songs with K's in them. What's the deal with K? Are you paid by the K? I'd like to see you write lyrics, Captain Fat-tastic. Oh. Watch me. I'll write the whole song with no K's in it at all. Actually, the swan's name is Swaggan Swaggle. That's a good name. Damn! Oh, it's been more challenging than I thought. But I flew here from Venice the moment I wrote the first line. Swig and swackle, you'll go farkle. It's great, but farkle's not really a word. <laughs> well, there's no words that rhyme with swarkle. That's not my fault. Sparkle? Shut up, Daisy! Uh. The truth is, I'm terrible at lyrics. You should have heard my songs before Bernie came along. Rocket Man was Pocket Fan. Um, what's a Pocket Fan? I don't know. It fit with the melody. <laughs> Maybe you should just go apologize to Bernie. I'm sure he'd have you back. That's how I feel about my enemy, Kristen Stewart. If she would just apologize for being so irritatingly aloof about her own fame. It's like she has the fame, but she doesn't want the fame. Ah! I could never apologize to Bernie. It'd be so humiliating. I'm sorry, we're sunk. I'll write the lyrics. Oh, that's so sweet. But words aren't your thing either. Oi, I had done biz went to eat and I does. Sides, lyrics ain't about words. It's poetry about love. All you need is love. Love, love is all you need. Oh, that's a great lyric right there. Yes, the Beatles wrote it. Maybe we'll just make it instrumental. No, I'm gonna do it. I'll show all of you. I just need a dictionary, a thesaurus and a book, what with all the words in it. A dictionary? I actually produce one. I did it. I wrote the lyrics in your face, Furnish. I was always on your side. <laughs> right, let's have a sing. Oh, help, it's me, Bernie. Harry lured me over with the promise of Shabney. <laughs> then he locked the door until I wrote this song. What the hell is this? You locked up Bernie Toppin? In our wine cellar? Look, I had no choice. You all said I couldn't do it, and then it turned out I couldn't do it, and I thought, if Bernie's locked up for a day, who's gonna miss him? <clears throat> I miss him. I'm busting him out. David, uh, hand me my axe. Oh, and my big glasses. I want to make an entrance. <laughs> Bernie and I just want to say thank you. You made us realize how much we miss collaborating. 
And how addicted to Sable I am. So you wrote the song about the inspiring young woman? Well, we wrote a song about an inspiring woman. It's the title track for the upcoming biopic of Angela Merkel. Got a great K sound, and it stars... Don't say it. Kristen, Kristen Stewart! Stewart. Oh. Angela Merkel come full circle The Oscar for Best Song goes to Elton John and Bernie Taupin for Young Merkel. <laughs> 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 